Most amazing discoveries made in ice. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tall Tannic. I'm your host, Alexa. 10% of the land area on Earth is covered in glacial ice. This includes glaciers, ice caps, and ice sheets from Antarctica and Greenland. NASA says that roughly 2 trillion tons of ice melted between 2003 and 2008. With all that ice melting, there are bound to be some intriguing discoveries. Before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. Frozen in Time This Incan mummy was found in 1954 by climbers who were ascending the summit of Cerro El Plomo in Chile. Known as El Plomo Boy, this mummy is thought to be roughly 500 years old. He was probably between the ages of 5 and 8 at the time of his death. Thanks to the cold climate and very little rain at the top of the mountain, his body is very well preserved. The little body was dressed in Incan fabrics and jewelry, and with him was a silver doll, a gold llama, a pouch holding his baby teeth, and nail clippings. His hair was braided into 200 braids, and he was the first Incan sacrifice to be discovered. The Inca believed that children were the purest of all, and they were sacrificed in order to avoid drought, famine, or any other impending disaster. After closely examining the little boy, researchers discovered that he was riddled with human whipworm, had nits in his hair, and his blood type was O. Sacrifices were made high up in the mountains, as the Inca believed the mountains were ladders to heaven. Other mummies found on the Andean peaks include La Doncella, Sarita, Juanita, the Aconcagua boy, and El Nino. Spring has sprung. Springtime is a wonderful time when the flowers start blossoming, snow starts melting, and grasshoppers make their appearance. At least you know you only need to deal with grasshoppers for a short time, right? Not quite. Grasshoppers are an annoying pest, and they've been known to destroy crops and cause famine while doing so. They are so adept at doing this, they even destroyed a glacier. Yeah, you can't even escape them in the snow. Grasshopper Glacier is located outside of Cook City, and it's crammed with millions of grasshoppers. Some of the grasshoppers that are trapped in the ice have been extinct for over 200 years already. It's believed the hoppers were making their way over the mountains when they got caught in a snowstorm and perished and have been frozen ever since. There's another glacier also crammed with frozen locusts called Hopper Glacier. The Big Freeze Siberia is known for its harsh climate and its long, brutal winters, and in those icy conditions, many intriguing things have emerged. In 2018, Space.com reported that Oymyakon in Russia was colder than Mars in January of that year. Many bodies still lie frozen and buried in the ice, and many of those bodies are still riddled with ancient illnesses. Many bodies were placed there in the hope that the germs they had wouldn't spread. The cold climate has kept the bodies in pristine condition, and that means that even the illnesses have been preserved. When a body was found thawed in a river, it was dropped off in quarantine at a local hospital, so researchers could ensure that the smallpox it was riddled with didn't spread. Smallpox was a major problem in Siberia, and researchers are ensuring that no risk of further infection occurs. Red-Nosed Reindeer we all have the glossy, Christmassy images of reindeer fresh in our mind, so I apologize for bursting your perfect image with the following unnerving discovery. In 2016, when the ice started to melt profusely in Siberia, a very old reindeer was discovered. On closer inspection, it was reported that the reindeer was riddled with anthrax, and CNN reported that this reindeer was responsible for the death of 1,200 people. Scientists believe that the reindeer succumbed to anthrax and then went on to infect around 15,000 people who were living a nomadic, reindeer-centric lifestyle. The anthrax discovered is the exact same as the anthrax that caused all the drama a few years ago, so it's rather unsettling to hear that it could spread so easily from a single, solitary, infected reindeer. A Mammoth Find From mammoth to elephant, mammoths were still wandering around the Earth as little as 4,000 years ago. They were living on Wrangell Island until 1650 BC. They have been found worldwide from Alaska through to Siberia, and they could weigh up to 15 tons. In 2013, a well-preserved specimen was discovered frozen in ice in Siberia. This specimen was so intact that she still had blood, 
She's believed to be around 40,000 years old, and scientists were working on possibly creating a modern-day elephant hybrid with the extinct woolly mammoth. As cold as ice. Many theories have been brought forward about Rupkund Lake's skeletons. The lake is also known as Skeleton Lake and is situated high up in the Himalayas. A British forest guard first found the skeletons in 1942, and the initial theory was that they were the remains of Japanese soldiers who had perished while traveling during World War II. Another theory suggested that it was the remains of General Zorawar Singh of Kashmir and his men who had lost their way in the Himalayas after returning from the Battle of Tibet in 1841. And yet another crazy notion was that it was an epidemic or ritual performed, leaving behind hundreds of bodies. After thorough research, it's confirmed that the skeletons are of locals and pilgrims, and are from around 850 AD. The skeletons are from two different groups of people, as some were quite short and the others considerably taller. The cause of death? Fatal blows to the head. Here's the odd thing, though. It wasn't a weapon, avalanche, or landslide that caused the blows. It was said to be caused by something round and hard, something along the lines of cricket ball-sized hailstones. All researchers were united in their conclusion that all 200 people died after an insane hailstorm. Let it grow. If you have a green thumb, you are very fortunate, but in this case, I'm not sure that your green thumb would be able to grow these seeds. Why? Because they're 32,000 years old. These seeds were deftly hidden by a squirrel, and yes, the squirrel probably looked a lot like Scratch from the Ice Age movies, but we're not 100% certain. Anyway, I digress. So this squirrel buried these seeds, not realizing that a lot of ice was going to encase them and he'd never get to enjoy the fruits of his labor. The seeds were discovered by some Russian researchers lying a couple of hundred feet under permafrost 32,000 years later. Despite the permafrost, researchers were able to extract some plant tissue from the seeds, which they have germinated successfully. The plant is Silene stenophylla, which is a flowering plant native to Siberia. In the red. So far, we've dug things out from the ice, snow, and permafrost, but what about amazing things happening on top of the ice and snow? A trip to Antarctica is never a bad idea, and if you can get to Blood Falls, all the better. Blood Falls sounds a lot like a Stephen King novel, but suffice to say there's nothing to be afraid of here. Between Taylor Glacier and Lake Bonnie, there is a bright red liquid that comes pouring out of the ice, and it makes the snow look like it's gushing real blood. The explanation is not that gory, as the liquid stems from a salty subglacial lake that's been around for over two million years. The water has been trapped there for all that time with no light, oxygen, or heat. And when it comes into contact with oxygen, it changes into this bright crimson color. A visit will include plenty of flights, boat trips, and helicopter rides, but the end result? Totally worth it. Islands in the stream. Ice in the Arctic is melting at a rapid pace. With all this ice melting, five new islands have cropped up recently, as confirmed by the Russian Navy. The Russian naval fleet did an expedition of the Arctic in August and September of 2019 and revealed this exciting discovery. It was originally believed that the islands formed part of the Vilki Glacier, but that thinking changed when the ice melted to reveal five separate islands. Despite the discovery being so new, scientists have confirmed that already plants and animals have gravitated toward the islands. There has been evidence of plants and algae and the remains of a seal that was attacked by a bear. This means that life on the island is sustainable and with time could be flourishing. Bursting Bubble During the cold winter months, if you head to Lake Abraham in Alberta, Canada, you'll come across an amazing find in the water. Frozen methane bubbles. Note to self, methane is highly flammable, so don't even consider lighting up close to the lake. This strange phenomenon looks incredible and is a result of bacteria eating the dead leaves, grass, and animals that sink to the bottom of the lake. When the water melts, the bubbles naturally explode and release the gas, which is why it's never a good idea to bring a lighter with you. Summer Vibes there have been so many intriguing discoveries in Antarctica, which have made scientists come to the almost hard-to-believe conclusion that Antarctica was once a warm and sunny place. The polar regions are believed to have been as warm as Florida, yet it's hard to imagine that when you think of how it looks right now. Who knows, perhaps with all the changing weather patterns, it's only a matter of time before it comes full circle. Roughly 40 to 50 million years ago during the Eocene period was when Antarctica was at its hottest. It would have been more like a greenhouse climate with high levels of carbon dioxide, Researchers did some experimenting to figure out just how hot it would have been. 
They used two isotopes from ancient shell fossils and studied the concentration of bonds between the two isotopes. They said that would be a sound indicator of how hot it would have been for these ancient organisms to grow. They concluded that Antarctica would have had an average temperature of 63 degrees Fahrenheit, or 17 Celsius, and the waters would have been even warmer at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, or 22 degrees Celsius. Today, the temperatures are obviously below freezing. 1. Skating on Thin Ice In the 1960s, Andrei Kapitsa brought forward information about a possible massive lake buried beneath the ice in Antarctica. The existence of the lake was only confirmed in 1996, and it's one of the largest subglacial lakes in the world. Called Lake Vostok, the lake has been covered in ice for over 15 million years, and it is thriving with life. A bacterium was discovered initially, but over time, an additional 3,500 different species have been identified. It's important to note that life didn't just magically appear, but has been left dormant there for eons, and just managed to survive. 